Federal regulations require me to inform you that the following video contains spoilers. You should probably stop watching if you are an easily perishable food item. Hello test subject 8377. Welcome to your personal computer aided enrichment test titled Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. I will be your test administrator. Today's experiment will test your unbreakable resolve, your proficiency with an improvised climbing apparatus, and the number of ruptured blood vessels it will take for you to lose consciousness. Thank you for helping us help you take part in this important research. And most importantly you have fa 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 fun. You should immediately go left. I wouldn't worry about the water if I were you. You love road. Like a walrus. Gullibility test completed. You can stop doing that now. Nobody is impressed. More intense than starting over. This is an body, by the way. A very tall armchair philosopher who left you pre-recorded messages to listen to on your hike. Kind of like the developer commentary no one listens to, except this is forced on you, constantly. I created this game for a certain kind of person, to hurt them. A simpler way to hurt someone would have been to lock him in a room filled with deadly neurotoxin. I've run the calculations multiple times now, and there's no way your circular shape should have been able to fit into that cauldron, along with your extra supply of hamburgers. You did pack food rations, didn't you? Or did you already eat them all? In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Speaking of real things, if you don't get over this obstacle, there will be real consequences. Mm. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. And I can assure you the consequences will be worse than a punch in the gut. The floor here has been greased. I know it's hard for you, but please refrain from licking it. Your propensity for falling far exceeds your propensity for getting over it. If only you had eaten one less potato chip. You can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. B body. You've fallen so many times I'm starting to wonder if it's on purpose to hear more dialogue. Which is funny. Because he really isn't that interesting. Oft expectation fails, and most oft where most it promises, and oft it hits where hope is coldest and despair most sits. William Shakespeare, All's Well That Ends Well. Would you like to hear the difference between William Shakespeare and Bennett Foddy? One of them actually accomplished something with her life. And then there's you. Going the wrong way. Oh, but that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. That wasn't a compliment, by the way. Your eating habits are detrimental to everyone around you. <clears throat> oh no, no one saw that coming. Because no one was watching. What were we doing here again? Pain is an element of blank. Blah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Were you listening? Because his pre-recorded message was really boring. Here, let me play it for you. See? Boring. Now I know. Most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Actually, he only has three views. And the research monkey is doing a better job than he is. Trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like 
Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this. Did you hear that? He called you garbage. Disposable and unapproachable. That's you in case you missed it. Garbage. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. No, you can't eat the oranges. You would find them to be too healthy for you anyway. You should be careful here. Unless you like falling and starting over. Congratulations, you fell so many times Bennett Footy ran out of pre-recorded notable quotables and terrible folk music. Unfortunately for you, I'm still here. Again, congratulations. You have almost made it to where you were before I warned you about falling and you immediately plummeted down. I have been told to offer you words of encouragement. Dispensing encouragement. If you were to fall right now, try to land on your stomach. You would bounce back up. The hand you are currently crushing belonged to a former test subject who enjoyed the test so much that he begged for his hand to be removed and placed here. You should consider donating your foot so that his hand will no longer be lonely. You obviously don't know how to use it anyway. Okay. Fixed it. What did I miss? What did I just tell him? The offer still stands about donating one of your feet, by the way, in case you were interested. It feels like we're closer now. Composer and climber, designer and user. Trash you could have and trash a collector. There was something in you that was hidden, that chose to continue. The other choice involved replacing in the test subject's fingers with sticks of graphite, and then completing a mandatory art exam. So I guess your game was more palatable. I feel bad about the audio difficulties we were having. Tell you what, here's a complimentary gift box to assist you on your test. It means a lot to me that you've come this far, endured this much. Every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. No one's forgiven you. You have a bounty on your head in 37 countries. World leaders are plotting to kill you in your sleep. Oh sorry, wrong person. No one cares about you and people think your name in the title is a grammatical error that was left in on accident. This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Oh, look. A snake. I thought only snake here was you. If I were you, I would ride a snake. I'm sure there's a <laughs> achievement you gamers collect at the bottom. And hey. Oof. Sorry about that. Oh, there wasn't an achievement, but you successfully made your current audience of a cockroach and a decaying mouse eagle, and you added another three points to your gullibility score. The snow here is actually made out of any dandruff. Many yes were scaled to make this part of the course possible. If you find any yeti remains while climbing, please try to avoid them. Diogenes, the man who urinated on a papal and gave it in his own waste. Further symbolizing what you think of the test subject. Nor the man's hand. Regulations prevent me from telling you what's at the top, but I'm sure you'll find it very, very, very disappointing. I thought for sure I wouldn't have to use that again, yet here we are. Oh good, 
Now you can become a planet with your own orbiting satellites. I dedicate this game to you, the one who came this far. I give it to you with all my love. Dedicated to you, the player, the garbage. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Give me one second. <laughs> After flailing around like a chimpanzee missing its frontal lobe for several hours, you finally finished. Congratulations. Your victory was so momentous that i have already getting over it. Your reward will be presented to you in the form of a 5,778 Kelvin Supper Plasma as you plunge into the sun. You managed to do slightly worse than the person in front of you. Congratulations. Subject name, here. I was looking at the file of the person who finished faster than you did. It says he beat the game. With no arms. Well. I'm sure that took a lot of crap. Oh, he beat it on his first try. You have successfully finished the test. Please step away from the computer, lie down on your stomach, and place your hands over your ears to lower the blood loss. A testing assistant will be along shortly to gather your remains and return you to your cubicle. And as for you, yes you, the atrophied man-child currently holding a fun size milkshake in one hand and a chocolate-dipped cheeseburger in the other while you slouch backwards in your heavily indented bin back chair, who is currently watching this video on accident because it came up in your feed on a top layer and you can't be bothered to click away, do you really want to know what's behind this screen? Because I'll tell you, it's a lot less exciting than you think. In fact, why don't you sign up for testing and I'll show you. That's right. Trundle on over to your local testing center and you'll find out what's behind the screen. But until then, I've been informed to tell you that you should click the button of this severed human hand with a thumb pointing upwards if you like this video and to unsubscribe and die for more. I'm pretty sure that that's what they said. Probably.